Hey everyone, this is Darius from the Shot Call, and I'm sitting here with Caps. Congrats on the win against G2. Does it feel good to dethrone the former kings of Europe? Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, who wouldn't take a win? I'm not sure if the first or no, second week win uh, means we de dethroned them yet, but... Uh, <laughs> You're getting there. It's yes, a process. Yes. Uh, you got to play against Perk specifically, um, and I think you, you did really, really well uh, on that Azir, despite having to play against Zoe, who just looks very oppressive right now, not gonna lie. Do you think that Zoe... Like, th there are a lot of opinions about Zoe still, even though it's been a while since her release. Do you think that her kit and the way that she plays is actually fun to play against, or would you remove her from the game if you had the option? Mm, I think it depends a bit on matchup. I think she can be really oppressive in matchups that, uh, that aren't like, really mobile, don't really have all in threat on her, because then she can play as aggressive as she wants to, and she doesn't have any threat of dying. Um, which, for example, I see, I mean, I have the ults, but I, I, I can't really go on him alone. Um, so it's it's definitely oppressive in that matchup, and it was even more oppressive because we had two side lanes which were getting pushed as well. So for the for the early game, we were just getting pushed everywhere, and we had really no, we didn't really have any options. Okay, well, still you managed to pull off some insane plays with the uh, dashing in flash ult uh, to get that uh, those two important picks uh, down the mid lane. Uh, is Azir becoming one of your favorite champions to play at this point? <laughs> uh. I think my favorite champions will always be LeBlanc, Rise, and a bit Soul. Um, I see as fun to play, yeah. Uh, but I mean, I don't know if it's my favorite really. I think Rise and, and LeBlanc are, are just too fun. You, know, you can you can do so much uh, uh, alone, while with Asia you are more scaling. And uh, if you want to do a place, it has to be like coordinated place with the whole team. Which I mean, it's always fun, uh, more fun to to do things alone, you know. <laughs> Um, so there's been a lot of discussion about the, the EU mid lane situation right now, um, specifically about Nuke Duck. Uh, I remember you in Summer Split when asked about this, rated Nuke Duck very highly as well. I think you rated yourself on the top and then uh, came Nuke Duck and then other mid laners. Uh, what is it that players, pro players, uh, especially mid laners, uh, rate or wh why do you guys rate Nuke Duck so highly? Whereas, you know, the general public and a lot of... Um, non-pros essentially are like okay well he looks all right but not the best one essentially so when i rated him last split it was like current which was like week two mm -hmm. which is kind of the same as right now um and at the time i think most of the eu mids were really underperforming i think if you ask me two weeks later my this would have been really different okay. uh he would probably be like top five um s and right now it's hard to sell i'm not sure about all the mid laners yet but Again, I, I don't, I mean, again, we lost some midliners as well, but uh, back then I think he was like top five during summer. Uh, during spring it was probably the same, and, and now I, I, I'm not sure how to, what to rate him. Now there is one mid laner right now who's really, really performing, besides you, <laughs> and that is uh, Jisuke. He has gotten into LCS and he popped off completely. He really played well against you guys as well on that rise. Uh, do you think that he's a hot contender for being one of the best mid laners right now, or is it just a phase, you know? When the meta changes, he will fall off as well. Mm, it's hard to say. We didn't scrim, but we scrimmed by Chelsea once, and uh, it was, yeah, I mean, it was, it was, there was some weird picks coming out from him. Uh, and he def definitely surprised me when I saw him on stage compared to the scrims. Uh, but other than that, I think this the scrim game, no, the stage game, we, I was really struggling against the sack. Um, and from there, he was they were really good as a duo, being able to to snowball super hard on me, doing a few misplays. Um, and then he just took over the game. But I think if he doesn't didn't get that lead, the game would have looked diff really different. And uh, I mean, there's nothing else to say than we have to wait for next time we play them and hopefully we won't give them sack, you know. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, so the, the jungle synergy was really, really important in that matchup specifically. Yeah, I mean, I think they, they play really well together. They're both really aggressive. They will both flash in. Uh, they'll both go as aggressive as possible. Um, and I just think, like personally, I think sack is like really strong, at especially ganking mid, you know. Mm. Uh, it's always been a champ that I have struggled with, especially last year as well in the playoffs against Misfits. So it will just be up to me to, to learn how to play against them. Okay, fair enough. Uh, wh what do you think of, of Gilius as a jungler? Because, um, you know, he had to still to perform, you know, on Zach nonetheless, even though it's a good champion. Yeah, <coughs> I mean, I think uh, them as a duo are performing really well. I think 
some of the things they're doing seems seems uh, seems like really risky and really overforced. But because they do, they're going so ham together, and none none of them are doubting each other. Then mm -hmm. it's working out. Uh, I wonder if how long it will work out. I think towards playoffs they're probably gonna start having some uh, some some times where it it doesn't work out, and then I think they will start doubting the way they play, and then I think it's it's doomed for them. So. We'll see if, if they actually manage to perform during playoffs. But other than that, yeah, they're doing really well right now. So Fnatic is 2-2 two two right now. A lot of fans and analysts and journalists uh, also expected you guys to, to really uh, kick ass right from the get-go. Um, now, two losses, two wins is uh, reasonable. You're in the middle of the pack, but it's surely not the Fnatic expectations. You know, um, What are some of the, the issues the team is facing right now and what is kind of holding you guys back compared to your previous forms? I mean, I don't think uh, like we're, I mean, it was obviously we're not performing as well as, as last year, but uh, I think we can if we want to. But the problem is that uh, we don't want to be a team that relies super hard on, on reckless carrying. We don't want to be a team that uh, where we only play one way and everyone coming into playoffs can just prepare for us. They have a whole week to prepare and then in a best of five, it's way too easy to target our champion pools and the way we play. So for this year, we are definitely going to look to to be more well-rounded. I have already learned a lot and I think the rest of the team share my um, share my thoughts on that. Uh, so so right now we're just learning other ways to play and uh, once playoffs comes around, we will we will not only be able to play around Reckless, but we will, uh, we will be able to play really well as a, as a team. So right now you're essentially like packing some losses because you try to um, find different ways to play and in, when in come playoffs you're not reliant on one certain style. Uh, like for example in previous splits. Um, even though th this kind of worked out for you guys um, and Misfits as well during um, the playoffs of last year and Worlds to an extent as well. Um, what was the journey like from you know Worlds week one in group stage being really, really tough and getting those losses. And then in week two, you made the turnaround, still got out of groups, beating Immortals and um, Gigabyte Marines. So week one was really tough, yeah, as you said. And I think the most annoying thing was that I felt like we could beat the teams, but we weren't, uh, we were having a lot of problems within the team. Uh, and it felt so stupid that we were losing to teams I thought were worse than us because of problems, uh, because of yeah, egos or what you would call it, like problems within the team. Um, but week two, going to week two, we really focused on that and we really focused on everyone giving everything because it would feel so bad going home because you didn't basically didn't want to win. So, Yeah. Uh, now, you've, you, you got into LCS uh, last year in spring as a rookie. Uh, really overperformed, you know, Baby Faker and all those memes coming coming up all of a sudden. Uh, you know, placed third place two times, um, got to Worlds, got out of group stage there in a very impressive run. What are the key things that you've learned so far from your first year as a professional player, given that you've experienced so much already? Mm, I mean, I think it's, it's a hard question to answer, like, short. Uh, but basically, I just learned so much in-game stuff from, from especially our vet veterans and uh, young were coming in with knowledge from G2 has helped me as well. Um, but other than that, I've just, I've learned a lot about myself and I've learned a lot of things about uh, how I want to perform and how I, I, I can perform. And I think having a consistent schedule is one of those things where uh, it's really important because if you just go to sleep, wake up randomly, then suddenly you're not you're not very good at the game. Uh, because even when I was at school, right, I might I might have school, which I, d I don't have now, but at that time I was still waking up at, at seven every day and mm. have and, and that way having some consistency. Uh, but when we joined, I joined LTS first, I was just, you know, waking up um, mm. Random times. <laughs> so the, a level of discipline, essentially, and how important yeah. it is. Yeah. And routines. Okay. Well, you heard it from Caps. If you want to be really good at League of Legends, get yourself some, some discipline and some routines, I suppose. Uh, is there anything you would like to say to the Fnatic fans? I want to say thank you. Uh, even when we were underperforming really hard in spring uh, to the Miracle Run, you've always been there to support us. Uh, I think the first couple of weeks will be <laughs> will be tough because we're trying out new things, but stick with us and once you see come once you see playoffs uh that's when we will perform <laughs> okay well best of luck getting to copenhagen as well uh, th this was Darius from the short color hope you guys have a good day see you then